tanning and celebrity gossip. Always have, always will. Sometimes I did the same. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Cairo. Subscribe or not, it's up to you. Today, it's just been a really rough day. I feel like this happens to me once a month. I have these episodes where I don't wanna do anything. My house is a mess. There's dishes in the sink. I don't even think I have a clean towel to dry my body. I go to the kitchen every five seconds to get a new snack. Nothing is going right. And I am just feeling sad. I just had a little episode. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really trying to get my life together and back in order. Ugh, I just hate when I feel like this every, every month or so. <laughs> and it's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. It's just a feeling. These next three days. Sorry, I had chocolate on my finger. I just had an ice cream sandwich. These next three days, I am going to try to get a hold of my life and get it together, okay? And the first thing I need to do is clean my house. But I'm gonna watch a movie first because I feel like I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. I, I feel like I will be ready after I lay on the couch some more. <laughs> but not right now. I'm not ready. I'm not ready at all. So tomorrow my cleaning girl comes so i need to clean before the cleaners come and it actually doesn't make sense but i don't want her to think i'm a dirty <laughs> and my closet is so bad when i say bad it's horrible wow my eyes look crazy <sighs> being a girl 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 it's exhausting i'm exhausted Y'all, so I just cleaned my house right before my cleaning girl came. Of course, that's what we have to do. We made progress on the closet, y'all. We made progress and I feel a teensy wincy better, but not that much. This my girl, y'all gotta check her out. Her Instagram will be on the screen in the description box below. And she's gonna deep clean my couch. Like y'all seen me take the cushions, the sheets off the cushion. I just really wanna deep clean. I want it to feel clean, you know, so I can be in a nice clean space so I'm able to think and function cause y'all already know I was going through a funk. But yeah, that's that. And on to the next step. Let me go ahead and get my best scented candle. 
So I'm on my way there now. I haven't been to the shops at Buckhead in so freaking long. I look a mess. And I don't care. I don't care. Anyways, elevator going up. journal let this be your sign to start when i journal i just love to reflect and make sure that i show myself 
gratitude and give myself grace. And I also have to remember in days where I feel stagnant and I feel like I'm not getting anywhere and I wanna just give up, I have to just remember my why and why I started this in the first place. I love doing words of affirmation because baby, it's gonna get me together real quick. It's always me versus me and I'm not gonna let the other side of me win. So if you need to pick up a journal, make sure you check out the inside and out because they have the best journals. So after breakfast, after I have something to eat, I love to make this perfect at-home pumpkin spice latte. Y'all, it's so freaking good. So I'm about to put y'all on. These are all the ingredients that you need. You need instant coffee, heavy whipping cream, Calpia Farms pumpkin spice latte because it's made with almond milk, so it's plant-based. A milk of your choice, oat milk or almond milk. I like to use almond milk and cinnamon. Coffee tastes way better whipped, so I like to take the instant coffee and then add sugar to it, and I make whipped coffee. I just eyeball the measurements, and then you're gonna just take hot boiling water and mix it into the mixture. Kettle water works just fine, and I like to take my frother and mix the two together. This can get a little messy. It does tend to overflow sometimes, but that's okay, because guess what? We can always pick up the mess. You keep mixing until your coffee gets nice and frothy, and fluffy like so. I remember making whipped coffee at my mama's house for the first time during the pandemic, right before I moved to Atlanta. And I was like, oh my God, this coffee is so good. So I was like, let me bring this back and put it into a pumpkin spice latte. And what's so funny about this recipe that I'm showing y'all is actually my nightcap was over. And I was like, wouldn't it be so funny if you made me a coffee in the morning like they do on Love Island? And he was like, oh, do you have the ingredients? And I was like, yeah and he was like oh, okay I got you y'all this man literally whipped up this coffee and it was the best homemade coffee I had ever tried so I was like oh I gotta put the girls on what you're gonna do is take your pumpkin spice creamer and you're gonna put that in the cup first with the ice and then you're gonna add your milk and then you're gonna take a second dump of pumpkin spice creamer you're gonna layer it with the whipped coffee on top of that so it should look like this and i like to stir my coffee into the milk and creamer mix and then we go ahead and make the cold foam so for the cold foam you take organic heavy whipping cream and then i just like to add a little bit of coconut sugar for sweetness or if you want to get fancy you can add the pumpkin spice creamer into the heavy whipping cream so you have that pumpkin spice cold foam then I go ahead and take my frother. And oh my God, y'all, this frother is so good. It's from Beam. <sighs> Their frother is so good, y'all. It never fails me. And then you want to add the cold foam on top. And look how good this looks like. It's so nice and thick. Starbucks can never. And then I love to add cinnamon on top. This is optional, but I like it with cinnamon. It's just it's just so good. And then I give it a little swirl, swirl. And it's the perfect color. The perfect combination but the color it looks great and it also tastes great and this is my at home pumpkin spice latte recipe that i've been loving i crave it every single day so if you remake this let me know how you like it please let me know um but yeah so enjoy ding dong ding ding dong Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today is another day and the car was live trying to get out of the funk. So, we are almost out of our way out of the funk. Just a little bit more work to do. Anyway, so let me stop. But today is a new day y'all. Just making a bowl of cereal and I think I'm gonna go get my feet done today because they look bad baby. If I showed you these, they're not worth any money right now. They're not worth a coin. I gotta do that. I was gonna get my nails in today, which look atrocious. Ooh. But Tim ended up having an emergency. So, one thing about me, I'm gonna have me a little bowl of cereal, okay? With a little almond milk. Mm. Mm hmm. So, operation, get work done, go get my feet done, and do something that I love. I feel so much better. Journal this morning. If you don't journal, baby, you need to sit down, reflect, be grateful for what you have because it can be way worse. I literally have to tell myself, like, it could be way worse. All you are is in a funk right now. But in reality, it's not that bad. You cool, you know? 
mm -hmm. write down what I'm grateful for and what I'm manifesting and also what I can do to work on myself internally so I can show up as my best. So anywho, let's get this work done and have a great and amazing day, even though it's so gloomy outside. Mm. So I said that I have to do something that I love today, right? So y'all know I love Beyonce and she just came out with some liqueur, some whiskey. So I'm here at Total Wine. I know I look like a boy right now, but we are out the house, we're thriving. <laughs> Um, it's giving easy to eat, oh my god. But I gotta try to find, la, 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 la. I gotta try to find Sir David. So let's see if we can find him. Oh, they didn't have it. Metro liquor, metro liquor. Y'all ain't it in the water. That's crazy. Liquor, just stack metro liquor, please. Metro liquor, come get it at metro liquor. Sir David, metro liquor. That man said, these are selling like you would. All right, y'all, we got the liquor. The Sir Davis by Beyonce rye whiskey finished in sherry caskets, okay? I really like this packaging. V and the A are the same letter. It's just a V upside down. And that just means in the future and then in the past are realigning, reconnecting. You know, Beyonce always has to have hidden meanings and things and also the symbol is right here on top of the cap. So on her website, she does have cocktail concoctions to make with the whiskey. I am gonna make one of her cocktails cause it is cocktail hour. Okay, we love a little nightcap over here, baby. Okay, and I haven't, I, it's been so long since I made a drink in my own home and I love being home, so why not? I low key wanna try Davis Sour, egg white, orange bitters. I don't have any of that, so we ain't trying that. <laughs> So she has a Texas bucket. Whoa, uh, Davis Old Fashioned, Sir Davis Sour, the Houston Whiskey Lemonade, Brown Derby, Whiskey Highball, Blackberry Mint, and then a Hot Toddy. And I kind of do want to try the Blueberry Mint one, but not today. So what I'm gonna make is the Whiskey Lemonade. So this only contains three ingredients that I can do. It's American whiskey, lemonade, and honey syrup. And they also give you instructions on here on how to make the honey syrup. It's two parts honey and one part water into a small saucepan over a medium heat. Stir until honey is dissolved, allows to cool and transfer to an airtight container. Why you can't just put it in a microwave? But anyways, I'm not gonna burn it. Let's just follow the instructions. I wonder how long it took her to think it is. Beyonce got me over here making honey sauce, baby. I made that, period. I can't believe me and Beyonce drank this honey. She did that for a reason. She knew.
didn't have no nail appointment and my nails are looking crazy i thought tim said 6 30 i swear he did i got caught up in a good vibes today y'all y'all see me i was bike riding and stuff y'all i feel so freaking good today first of all the pilates class i had today <laughs> anyway the pilates class i had today baby 10 out of 10 body rock is my new go-to bar class obviously is going to be in rotation but the the way the vibes are going in body rock yeah 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 playlist everything is going good black instructor the playlist is bomb yeah 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 i need the vibes good vibes were, the good vibes were going today so i was like wait i kind of want to go bike ride it's so pretty outside i never get to bike ride all is right around the corner so it's gonna start getting chilly and i was like you know what let's just go today like why not what's the hold up today is probably my official day that i'm out of my little funk so i'm like i gotta keep the good vibes going okay period honestly y'all nobody can make you happy but yourself you gotta make your own decisions to get you out of your funk do things that are right for you and what makes you happy and what's gonna get you in that right state of mind so yeah that was that also fashion week is going on you would think i had would have like a little bit of fomo but i honestly don't and when you're missing out on things don't think that you're missing out on something you're never missing out on anything baby especially when you're working on yourself don't ever think that you're missing out on anything but i mean it would be nice to have been invited you know <laughs> maybe next year or maybe whenever the time comes i'll be invited to you know where i'm where i'm supposed to be you know what i'm saying 
but anyway um but yeah i'm on my way to go get my nails done like y'all just seen and i really want a set today like i'm not playing no game i could do a basic like dark fall color like but a dark color but i'm like no i want a set today i want a set i want to walk out of here and be like oh my nails look good you can never explain the feeling of having a first set to a man imagine you explaining that to a man it's been so long since i've seen him y'all caring sometimes but i'm like no you need to get back on your you need to get it together, okay? I'm pulling up, so I'm gonna check in with y'all once I get inside. Y'all, I just got my nail appointment. Let me show y'all the end spot. Yeah, like it's this. These are the nails, but I don't want that flower. I want the brown and like the cream with the silver. I think that'll look super cute. And then the brown is definitely gonna give like flaw vibes. My nails are so thin. challenging and so difficult at times and i feel like we are really the strongest people on this planet i always allow myself to feel my emotions when i'm in my feelings or i'm down feeling a little melancholy because it's completely normal you know we always we don't want to feel stagnant we want don't want to feel stuck and i don't want to feel like a hamster running on a ferris wheel and i'm not getting anywhere you see what i'm saying so i'm always in my thoughts and my emotions but i no, I always have to remind myself and give myself grace in these moments because having bad days are what makes me who I am. Because if every day goes good, how am I supposed to know how to act when days go bad? Of course, I'm on a high when things are going great and I want to be outside. Things are just going good. So how am I going to act when the days go bad? I'm not going to know how to act. So the bad days I appreciate as well. And self-affirmations are what feeds me. I always have to tell myself I got this and what I'm going through is temporary. And I also can't depend on other people to lift me up. We are in control of our happiness. So if you want to be happy, wake up happy, baby, you're going to be happy. If you're going to wake up and tell yourself it's going to be a good day, it's going to be a good day. I have to be there for me and to pour into my cup so it's full. This is what I like to do. I like to get my hair done. I like to go to Pilates, get my nails done, just to feel good. You know, I have to take the necessary steps to get out this fun girl, okay? I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. And I love y'all. Y'all got this. If you're going through something, baby girl, this is only temporary. You got this girl, okay? Period. Because God is preparing you for what's next. But you didn't need me to tell you that, okay? Period. And thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. And I'll see you on next video.